Hi, what well, I got on you lot, it's Orion Kenny and man's back alive in the flesh with another video. I've been nervous, I've been procrastinating, but do you know what? It is what it is. No bounds in hell and Satan can't keep man down any longer. Man's fresh home, El Rey de la Casa. The king is back in the house, do you get me? I can't even say El oh, Castillo because she say man's back in the castle, it is what it is. Anyway, today we got another Q&A. I've said another like we've done a video. We have in the past technically. So the true one technically will know. And we're just going to get straight into it. Bang. So the first question is, what's your favourite colour? Um, as you can tell by the new intro and banner and outro that I got, it makes it kind of obvious. But for those that don't know, my favourite colour is blue. But if you want me to be really specific, it's baby blue. Baby blue is my heart, I'm telling you. Baby blue... Oh, mess with me and baby blue. It's like this. Do you get it? And what's this sign? The lottery. Exactly. Where you win millions of pounds. Yeah, I can't. I, can't, I don't know what I'm saying. But um, on to the next question. Favorite place on uh, on holiday or favorite place to go on holiday? Um, I ain't been on holiday in a minute, like from a young G. So I can't even lie to you. I can't even lie. Holiday right now is looking a bit immense, but. Should you say by the end of what this year? But I don't want to answer that too much because that's another question. But my favorite place to go on holiday will probably be probably Spain because right now, my name, no, I tell it like America, America, and then Spain. Yeah, them places there, I ain't been there. Well, I ain't been to America at least anyway. But them places there are looking a bit mad. So, should you say, man, should to fly over there still? Man, should to fly over there. Um. On to the next question though, we're just gonna keep this like mad quick, just rapido, rapido. Um, the age, man is, I don't know if I man should say that. Fuck it, let's go anyway. Man's 21, man's big boy 21, youngest in charge, you get me? Man's still young, I'd like to think so anyway, cause I'd be feeling like I'm 60, I swear. When you when you get to that point in life where you're, where you walk with God, bro, there's so many things like, bro, I just feel like I'm 65, ma. My, my, I'm at, my body is 21, my mind is like 54, my soul is like 65. So, to answer the question, that's the best way I can describe it. Uh, what's your favourite quote? Praying on my downfall don't make you a religious man. You see when Drizzy said that, it was over. It was over, bro. I was gassed when he said that. Bro, it's so true as well. It's not even like it's a bar, it's true. Most of the bars people say are bars because it's true. Do you get it? So when everyone heard that, it was like, yeah, mad thing. But for the other quote, sometimes a blessing is not what God gives you, but what he takes away. Now, I'm going to let that sink in. I'm going to let that sink in. That's just one. Like, I've got bear. I could read bear. But we ain't going to go there because I ain't no teacher. I ain't no, I ain't no lecturer. I'm just an OG, no OG, a young G, no, an OG in a young G body, bro. That's the easiest way I can describe it. But what's the next question? Where do you plan to take your YouTube career? Ah, this is going so poorly. Let me just say, so whoever watches this, you're probably going to be thinking like, what the fuck am I watching? But I'm telling you, just, just, just hold tight. I mean, this is even cringy for me to film. I'll be so real with you, but you know what? Man's going to square through it, soldier through it. And I promise you, give it like a year, two years, bro. I'm telling you, three years max, bro. I'm not playing with this thing. Let's start here. So with this channel, I plan to obviously do uh, pranks, vlogs, reactions, story times. Um, like, you know, the get ready with me is, um, you know, like the basics, like of a standard entertainment channel. And obviously... As of now, I'll start with reactions, and as man progress, I will start doing things like story times, pranks, and vlogs. And man get to a certain point in life. Um, then I would like to set up like many different other channels, like a, a motivation channel, a lifestyle channel, a how to channel, uh, traveling channel, um, a couple's channel if the right one comes. That's only if the right one comes though, cause y'all, y'all bitches be playing, y'all, y'all be playing. Um, that's what I can think of off the top of my head, and that's just like in the realm of YouTube. That's not including 
what I personally do. Like example, before YouTube, if you don't know, man's the hardest artist in 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 your lifetime. You will never meet an artist harder than me. If you don't believe me, go and ask the Most High himself. He will tell you. He will tell you, bro. There's not one artist that can say they're harder than me. I don't care. I don't give a fuck what anyone says. I don't care how many genres you do. I don't care, bro. When God blesses you to do certain... To, oh, I can't even speak. When God blesses you to do certain things, I promise you, no man. No man can even, like... Bro, unless God himself blessed you, all right, cool. But then again, at that point, it's not better. It's just we're both doing the same thing for the same result. But for anyone that thinks they're better than man, bro, I promise you, a guarantee is you're not better than me. Let's just put it like that. And it's not because of a pride thing. It's not because if you know me personally, pride is the last thing I will hold. But um, when the most high blesses you, bro, I'm telling you, no one can compare to that. Um... But yeah, that's enough of that, cause bro, I can go into that for time, bro. Start hurting people's feelings, but you get me. We ain't gonna go there, cause cause when I do it, it's pride. But when other people do it, it's confidence. But we we gonna leave it there, bro. We gonna leave it there. Birthday. Alright, cool. Please, please, don't be sitting there watching it. If you're watching this year, please don't be sitting there like you wanna know man's birthday because because like to know man's star sign. You see that star sign shit? Fuck that, bro. As a believer in the most high, I don't know about no star sign, no horoscopes, no all of that. If you believe in that, cool, that's up to you. Man's not trying to, like, disrespect your thing. But please don't bring that with me. Like, I have, a, I could do a whole story on star signs. Like, I want to explain the story now, but deep in it, I'm, I'm going to do a story time on it. And it's, do you get me? Just don't come with that, that silliness. But, um, star sign, no, stop. See, you see what you're going to be doing already? My birthday is the 19th of March, 2001. Did you get it? Man's a real... I don't know what to call myself. Like a real March, man. Yeah, man's a real March, man. I don't know why the... Do you know them people that stand outside Buckingham Palace, yeah? With them mad black hats and red jackets. I don't know why that came into my head. But yeah, man's a real March, man. Did you get it? Um, who's your... Next question. Who's your celebrity crush? Kaylani. In my in my own eyes, there's not one girl I uh, cool, uh, cool. apart from man's wife that God whom true who I can't speak. Apart from man's wife whom God truly sends, bro, there's no there's no girl on this planet that is longer to me than Kaylani. Bro, I'm telling you. Her music as well, bro. For all of you people that are like, oh, I can't listen to R and B or I can't listen to girl music. I can't listen to this, to this, to that. Bro, I'm telling you, you're missing out. I'm glad that I did it. Because coming out of a, I don't want to say a phase, but coming like from being brought up from a believer, like you can't listen to girl music and all that bullshit, yeah? I'm telling you. Listen, most of the people, yeah, that are these wannabe gangsters and X, Y, Z and all these things, yeah? I'm telling you, Kalani can release that. I'm telling you. Most of you, if you just listen to Kalani, your problems would have gone. Or Summer Walker, yeah. I'm telling you, like, bro, R and B is something different. Like, it's not everyday gangster. You get me? Not every day is bang guns and and trap and rare rare rare. But for some of y'all it is, so we're gonna leave it there. What's your biggest fear? Um Ooh, that's a good question. What is your biggest fear? I don't wanna say I don't have one, but most of my biggest fears have already happened, if that makes sense. So it's more, it's just more about adapting to the situation and realizing that having a fear is not something like I don't say it's, it's it's bad to fear things, but it's not like they are achievable to in to, in the I kind of speak. They are achievable in the sense of overcoming them. Yeah, they are achievable in the sense of overcoming them. So, don't fear, don't fear nothing to the extent where it paralyzes you. Always know that you can overcome it. But to answer the question, my biggest fear, if I keep it 100, is being in the same position I was last year. If I haven't moved forward in any type of way, like, that's what I fear, because that stuff is addictive. And you just tell yourself, oh, yeah, I'll do this, I'll do this, I'll do this. Me just doing this video, I've been telling myself for time, for months, I'm going to do it. 
I still haven't done it. So that's my biggest fear to be staying in that position. Knowing what I can, what I'm capable of is crazy. And this is, no, nah, I'm gonna say, no, nah, let me just say no, nah, just in case I forget. This is the video that everybody will come back to and say a legend has been made on this day whenever I release it. I'm telling you, I'm telling you from now. Because when man get there, trust me, then everybody is gonna come back. Well, maybe not everybody. The true fans, let's put it that way. I don't have a fan. A fan, a fan base, a fan name, like a fan, uh, like a, a community name, like to call you guys. But I'll find one, and then I'll bring it to you lot, and you lot can can um, verify it. And if you lot verify it, I'll use it. But they'll come back, and they'll be like, "Yeah, he really, he really did what he said he would." And that's that's all I'm here to do, really. Like that's the main true goal. Yeah, I'm doing bits and bobs and different things. But the main goal is to educate. I don't want to say educate because I'm not no teacher. Because I'm not no teacher. But it's to educate you to an extent, but to also inspire, you, entertain you as well. And that's just fundamental. If you if you're not getting entertainment from me, it's like why are you watching me? Do you get it? So it's entertainment and also to inspire and motivate because going through what I've gone through, I've gone through so much hardship. Not that I'm like. Oh, I've gone through the hardest, but I've gone through stuff enough to where I know what I'm saying. So it's like, bro, whatever you're going through, if you think you can't do it, bro, just do it. Forget if people laugh, forget if people don't support, forget if they don't care. Because you got to look at it like this. Everyone's laughing at you because you stepped out. The people laughing at you and the groups they laughing, they are laughing in. None of them have stepped out. They're all confronting to society and they're all doing their, they think they're not in the box and they think they're living their best life, but they're not. So do you know what? And I, it just, it made me realize, like thinking about it, like when I thought of it, it's like, bro, just had to come to the conclusion. I'd rather be laughed at. Cause even though you're laughing at me and it looks like I'm the laughing stock, I'm laughing at all of you. Because at the end of the day, in 10, 15 years, you're gonna realize, oh shit. And by that point, it's gonna be too late. It's gonna be too late. But I guess, I guess, I guess, um, the most high will show them in their own way. Do you get it? Like, that's not for me to, to say, to say that piece, innit? God will do with them in their own way. But, um, yeah, let's move to the next question. Is it true that you can speak multiple languages? Man said multiple. No, no, you lot took that too fast, though. Yeah, actually, yeah, yeah, French, um, Spanish, Italian, Bel Belgiumese. I don't know what language Belgian people speak. Belgianese are French or their like their native language. I forgot what it is. Not Finnish. There's some like thing that they speak. I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, man can only speak Spanish still. Man's still learning. Apparently, if you hear me speak it, I sound like fluent and it's patterned, which it is, and I take a little pride in that. But it's not where I want it to be. Do you get it? So I'm I'm still in the process of learning a lot. Man's, man's, man's get coming to terms with certain things and just, just learning. Do you get me? Man's really open to learning. And just, ugh, I'm really open to learning in this phase of my life. It's like just opening my mind into so much things. But yeah, I do speak Spanish. So for all the Spanish men them and the Spanish women them, do you get me? This man's hair, do you get it? El Rey de la Casa o... Oh. El Rey del Catillo. See? See what happens when you start, when you first start. This is what happens, bro. All the all of the, the, the thoughts, the feelings, the don't do it, the delete it, the shall I cut it out. Bro, they all literally come like that. But you know what? Persevere, keep going, and one day you'll see it. Coffee or tea? And before I answer this question, yeah, a friend recently got me into coffee. Yeah, even though he got me into coffee, still, still, I must still say it. If you ask me tea or coffee, yeah, and you don't include hot chocolate, please, please take me out. Just take me out of the whole equation. I'm tired of going to places and they ask me, oh, tea or coffee. No, darling, hot chocolate. Hot. Ch Why is hot chocolate not standard? What is wrong with you? Like, 
I don't know. I just I just don't know how to explain it. Like I don't know. Like why is hot chocolate not standard? Why is it tea or coffee? Why is it white or black? Why not light skin? Look, look. Oh my god, bro. I don't know. Maybe I'm bugging. Let me know. Maybe I'm bugging. Maybe I'm bugging. But all I wanted is a hot chocolate. Don't get interested. Nah, I'll choose coffee. But if I if I'm truly honest, to answer the question, all I wanted was a hot chocolate, mate. That was it. And then the last question to finish off this video is a talent no one knows you have. Now that's a very good question. A talent that no one knows you have. I would say given, I don't know why I'm bugging today, but yeah, giving my good heart to people. So yeah, thank you guys for watching the video. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe if you feel this video has made you laugh or you feel this video has brought entertainment to you or, or inspired you in any type of way. If it has, then just don't hesitate. Leave a comment. I'll respond to all the comments. And yeah, it's your boy Orin, it's your boy O1, it's okay. Whatever you know me as, 